Now I know I said I'd have the forfeit up yesterday but a few things got in the way and I didn't even upload yesterday. Sorry about that. And now today I have another few things to do in the evening and I can't really afford to have diarrhea after drinking lemon shots and chilies. So it's coming Monday. I swear to God it's coming Monday. Saz bros. <laughs> Today's run of games looks solid. We are looking at nine points here, on paper at least. Crystal Palace, Southampton, and then West Ham. It looks pretty good. If we don't win those three games, we're fucked. This is a nice way to start off the day. Two transfer offers. One from Watford for Aaron Lennon for 6.4 million. The next from Southampton for James McCarthy for 18.3 million. I'm sick to death accepting these offers and the transfer talks breaking down, but... We have to try and get some money. I'm going to negotiate the offer for Watford, see will they take 7 million and wait for the transfer talks to break down basically. Proposed new transfer fee, we're going for straight clean 7 million lads. If they don't accept it, they can go fuck themselves. Jeez, I'm very fucking angry this morning, I don't know why. Okay, let's be happy from now on. Let's see what they say to 7 million. They will match it, they're agreed to 7 million. Hopefully he leaves because I'm sick to death of accepting deals for him. And as for Southampton's James McCarthy offer, if they can take 20 million, perfect. Boom, there she is, 20 million. And they say, okay, you have a deal. So that's 7 million and 20 million. 7 million for Aaron Lennon, 20 million for James McCarthy. Hopefully they both go through. No way, it actually worked. James McCarthy has actually moved to Southampton for 20 million. Oh, what's going on? Now, if you are upset that I sold James McCarthy, lads, we have just have so many sentiment feelers and he just had to go. He's not playing at all. And I do plan on getting rid of a few more next summer and bringing just some better ones because we just have too many. Anyway, away to Crystal Palace. Timo Werner makes his way back into the squad after injury so we've swapped him with Rooney and pushed Rooney back in the defensive midfielder role just to see what he's like there because if he is any good boom done and dusted the midfield is class why you got a fog bro come on man I don't even know what's going on here <laughs> Crystal Palace starting 11 lads Hennessy in goals Ward Sacco Dan fucking whatever name that is and Van Anholt so that's 5 at the back or 3 at the back I don't know these formations they don't really make it obvious and then they have 4 in the midfield wow they're going very defensive and then Ben Teke up top that's a very defensive formation. Oh, look at that from Ashley Williams making the fucking tackle nearly in the midfield. Yes. Ninja Werner. Werner overhead ball into Ross Barkley. I doubt he's going to get it, but the defender might fuck up. Ooh, no, no, no. Defense is solid. I finally get a chance to clear my voice. Ross Barkley into Pulisic. Pulisic hit that first time. Ah, oh, just over the bar. Chris Palace now attacking on well. Ooh, looking for that header into Ben Teke, but it ain't happening. Schneider now waiting for that defender to come close so I can pass it to Ross Barkley, and it happens. Yes, Timo Werner, keep going. Werner's not making it run fast enough, so Ross Barkley has to keep going. Fucking hit that long shot. Ross Barkley! Oh, smashed off the crossbar, lads. So close. Christian Benteke is actually about to cross the ball in. Like, I thought that was Crystal Palace. One tactic was to cross the ball into Benteke, not the other way around. Oh, Leon Bailey makes a nice run. I didn't even mean to pass him. Fuck it. Hit the burber spin. Oh, it's not even a burber spin. It's even better. Yes, great ball to Ross Barkley. Hit the shot. Ah, oh, my God. That's way too slow. Crystal Palace get a corner. I presume it's their one shot actually scoring because they're playing shit outfield and we just get it away. We're too good for them. Now, I Ross Barkley. Lads, we're playing so good. We just can't finish the ball. And then I say that and Ross Barkley makes the absolute worst pass I've ever seen. Go with that. And a nice ball to Werner. Werner hit the one two with Leon. Or Ross Barkley. Fuck it. Hit the shot. Yes, it falls well to Pulisic. Oh, my God. Crystal Palace are actually the blocking kings. Tries to turn him. Doesn't work out. You're not turning James Coleman. Yes, Ross Barkley's gone in the centre. Look at that, lads. They block everything I tried to do. This is crazy, man. Crystal Palace are actually solid in defence. Okay, now they're trying to be solid in attack. 55th minute is based their first attack to get a good header in. Oh, Pickford with the reaction save. Looking at the players that could possibly change this game, and these are the three I've gone for. Sigurdsson in for Barkley, Balassi in for Pulisic, and then Klassen in for Rooney. Rooney didn't really play well in the defensive midfielder role, but fuck it, at least we tried. Sigurdsson on the corner. Can he just swing one in on someone's head? Come on, boys. Get a head on it. Davy Klassen. Oh my god, it's actually gone in. Davy Klassen has scored the goal. We just just could not finish the ball. Crystal Palace were defending unreal, but we get a goal from a set piece. Davy Class, and look at that, right in the top corner. 1 0. Let's see, can we finish this game off? Let's see, can we get two? Nice ball. Yes, into Werner. Hit the finesse. Boom. 2 0. We struggled for 80 minutes of that game, and then we scored two goals in like two minutes. Beautiful play. It was actually the other way around. It landed to Leon Bailey, passed into Timo Werner, and then to Sigurdsson. I was thinking it passed to Sigurdsson, and then to Timo Werner scoring the goal, but Sigurdsson gets a goal. Well deserved, too. A close fought game. Crystal Palace held on for as long as they possibly could, but in the end, our class just showed through, and we win 2 0. What is going on here. Aaron Lennon has agreed with his agent terms for a 7 million move to Watford. So we've sold McCarthy and Lennon all in this episode. Things are looking good. Then Cole Cassidy and Andrea Rizzo are 
are coming back with monthly scouting reports. Let's see who they found. Serious potential found by Cahill Cassidy in China. I'm not even going to pr try and pronounce these names because I'm just going to embarrass myself. But we got 90 potential, 94, 93, and 92. That's four over 90 potentials. Nice work, Cahill Cassidy. And Andre Rizzo found one in Argentina. He better be good. But that leads us up to our game away to Southampton. I have to give credit where credit is due. Sigurdsson and Klassen both start in this game because they saved us in the last one. Sigurdsson with a goal and an assist and Klassen got the goal. Southampton squad for today. Tailoring goals. No idea who that is. We got peed. What the fuck lads. Peed. What a name that is. Davis, Romeo. Pretty decent two defence midfielders. Uh, Tadic, Nathan Redmond, surprise he's still with Southampton, he's a solid old left winger and then Charlie Austin up front, nice squad. Can we start this game off a lot better than the Crystal Palace game, Timo Werner, that was kind of a 1-2 that you're supposed to do there but fucking he finally gets it back. Oh he goes in, can we pass in the centre, we do, oh what a save. Leon Bailey goes all the way up to Seamus Coleman, yes but there's a bit of space here for Sigurdsson, Sigurdsson, nice run by Leon Bailey, if we can get it to him we do, oh that's surely a goal, Leon Bailey, boom that's what I'm talking about, Leon Bailey was just playing all over the pitch today for some reason. But he finally ends up back where he belongs and gets the goal. Playing some serious football today. Sigurdsson is on fire. Look at that for a through ball. Left the defender for dead. 1-0 off. Corner kick to Southampton. 25 minutes in. We have to clear it or else we're going to be one all. And I don't want that. Virgin Van Dyke gets the header but it gets away. Into Davy Klassen. Davy Klassen right down to Leon Bailey. Yes, back in the centre to Sigurdsson. Boom. Into Werner. And one more to Bailey. Can he get two? Take a touch. Double tap that. Bailey 2-0. He is on fire. The right back simply can't handle him. He is way off any time Leon Bailey gets the ball hits a 1-2 that right back goes mental Sigurdsson into Werner and then Werner supplies the assist for Leon Bailey quality start to a game 2-0 cuts right by that defender Sigurdsson hit your long shot Ooh, oh just wide keeper was struggling bringing on the runester instead of Werner and then we're changing our two defence midfielders to Bezic and Gaia just to give them a run because they're always on the bench lately oh James Coleman have to be better clearance than that great ball in Nathan Redman gets the head on it great cross in we should have cleared it no doubt James Coleman just didn't do it well it technically was me controlling him but I have to blame someone now we have to analyse our mistakes a great ball in in all fairness James Coleman oh it's not good enough and then two head a headed assist into a head goal pretty nice close call in the end Southampton got a goal in the last 10 minutes but they never really trouble us the whole entire game so it's pretty much a comfortable 2-1 win and then in classic FIFA style we have to play West Ham at home two days later and naturally because we only played two days ago the starting 11 isn't fit but we can still throw out a half decent squad this is our second squad and I'm still pretty confident about winning this game Nias with Rooney just behind him Lennon and Balassi out the wings I know we sold Lennon already but we might as well use him he's not going until January same with McCarthy and then we're putting Bezic right beside him and then the back line is Henriks, Jagi Elka, Funes Mori, Lukaku and then Stecklenburg in goals. Still a pretty decent squad though. Okay this is the West Ham squad, Adrian in goals, the back line is pretty much average, Winston Reid's in there, Mark Noble is still on the pitch which is pretty weird and then the striker is Antonio. It's just a basic West Ham squad, it's always going to be decent enough anyway. Jordan Lukaku, that's your ball. Oh my god we're actually playing shit. They tried to turn us. Oh, it's great bowling. Can we get this away? Oh, that was nice. And that was nearly on Onartovic's head. And he is massive. One Henriks. This is your time to shine. This is your time to shine. If you can get an assist from here, you're starting the next game. Oh my god. Henriks has to start the next game. I said it out loud. And Jordan Lukaku ends up getting the goal. My right back assisted my left back. Okay, now Henriks has to start the next game. Because I did say if he got the assist... He gets the next start. So there it is, boys. 1-0. I don't know what planet this referee's on, but that wasn't a free kick. And if we concede from it, I'm going to go wild. Okay, it's all good. It's okay. Referee's safe for now. McCarthy into Rooney. Hit that finesse, Rooney. Oh, okay. Back up to McCarthy again. Yes, hit the first time shot. Oh, nice save by Adrian. Three substitutions, lads. Bringing on Sandro instead of Nias because he's not playing well at all. Bringing on Luckman because I'm trying to improve his stats. And we're also bringing on one of our youth academy players called Santoro. Center defense midfielder, 60 rated. Looking pretty good. Come on, boys. Get this away. Oh my god, it's actually gone in. As soon as we make the substitutions, Antonio scores. I think that's their first shot the whole entire game. I'm actually nearly convinced that's their first shot. I told you, lads. It's actually their first shot. It took them the 69th minute to get one shot and it ends up being a goal. Okay, look, man. Nice one. Into Santoro. Okay, he's not playing too bad now. I'm a bit nervous passing the ball to him because I feel his nerves through the game. Into Sandro. Hit the shot, Sandro. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. 2-1. He's literally just on the pitch. That was his second touch, I'd say. And we get a goal. 15 minutes left. Were we ever letting West Ham get off that easy? No way were West Ham trying to get a point off us with only one shot on goal the whole entire game. We're in this again, lads. 2-1. Yes, keep going. And now you're gone. Look at all this space. Keep going, Luckman. Oh, it has to be a goal. Yes, finesse that in your right foot. Luckman. Oh, what an unbelievable goal. Worked it all himself. What a class goal. 
if he keeps going like that he's going to be class lads a close call there in the last 15 minutes but we end up winning the game 3-1 a beautiful performance we set out for nine points in this episode and we got it and now we are nine points clear at the top of the table after a very very shaky start to the premier league we are finally finding our rhythm 12 wins one draw and one loss we're absolutely on fire that's the end of the episode lads if you are new around here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and if you are enjoying the series don't forget to hit that thumbs up button anything you'd like to say leave it in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one